Hey gang, it's Jay Will Billman here from Grinder Blues. That was just a little taste of the uh, song uh, Another Way Around from the new Grinder Blues record El Dos, which is available, of course, at Amazon.com and on MetalvilleRecords.com. And uh, today we are going to go over the uh, learn how to play the tune Another Way Around, which is the opening track on the record. Stick around, I'll show you how to play this thing. A little slide today. All right, gang, let's take a look at this intro real quick. I'm going to break this down into two sections. The, uh, I should say that the guitar is tuned to C major chords, so it's C open. Very common tuning for slide playing in blue stuff. Uh, however, E's and D's are more normal. With grinder blues, we go down to C. However, I am going to explain everything as if we were tuned to E. So I'm going to call this a G. I'm going to call this a, an A. You know, just to keep it uh, so we're not worried about transposition at the moment, okay? So let's take a look at the intro. So we get a little distortion here. Very simple. That's the very first thing that happens. So it's an open C up to the G, and then without hitting the guitar again, I bring it up to the A. That gives it that long draw with the slide. Now when you get up to the A, you gotta make sure you keep that slide moving, okay? <laughs> then we go into the main riff, which is the main riff of the song, and there's a little bit of intro yet uh, as far as that goes, but it's also part of the main riff for the song. All right, let's take a look at this main riff and uh, also the, the second part of the intro, which is part of the main riff. So I'll play the first part of the intro. Now coming off of this, I just slide right into the main riff. So that's the whole main riff at the beginning of the song, but it includes that da 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 da, which I keep going back to the whole. Uh, this that's the main riff in the song, okay? And that is being played on the G string third fret, the uh, D string fifth fret, D string fourth fret or third fret, sorry. So. And I'm following down this D, uh, D minor, or this uh, E minor pentatonic scale. Again, in this case we're in C, but that's technically what it would be. Okay? And then we're going to go open A to the third fret, hammer on. Open D string. Okay, so it goes... get into the slide stuff. And again, I'm using the, the uh, third fret and the fifth fret. To get to that, and then uh, the rest of it is going to be basically a G, an A, and a B lick. Now I am using a hybrid picking stroke here, so I'm picking down with the pick and up with my second finger, and on this case, I'm hitting the D string in between, which is giving me that root. So. You know, something like that. <laughs> so that's about the way it is for the intro. Now let's get into the main body of the song. All right, let's get into the verse on this baby. Um, that riff that I showed from the intro happens throughout the entire song, and so we're going to stick with that. But when the singing start, it basically just rolls up to an A chord. Back to the open C. And then the riff. Mississippi Delta. And I do some some slide, you know, uh, uh, riffs in there. That's just right down the chord. Or I might go right, which is this scale. Basically. Okay. So this is Delta. Cross the river here I come. Okay. 
And then uh, it goes to what I'm gonna call a D chord. This is the place where my daddy came from. And that's basically a D to an A, okay? So that's the whole thing, it sounds like this. Mississippi Delta, across the river, here I come. Mississippi Delta, across the river, here I come. That's basically it. That's your basic verse of the song. We're gonna go into the chorus now. All right, gang, let's take a look at this chorus now. Um, one of the things that I do a lot of is play behind the slide, and this does incorporate um, some, some playing behind the slide. So, we're gonna go up to the D chord. At the very first chord of the, of the chorus is the D. Okay, so that's on the uh, 10th fret. Now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take my second finger and play on the E string one fret below that, so it's under the slide, okay? So. And I'm basically what I'm playing is, uh, you could look at this as a uh, sort of a major seven kind of concept, but it's not really, it's, a, it's still just the open chord. With that, with that uh, major seven, in this case, the uh, C sharp ringing out underneath it, okay? And then I'm going to G, G sharp, A, E. Right, so that's gonna be third, fourth, and fifth frets. Same thing, back to the D. Some hits there that are happening all from the open E to the G. Then we're going to go G to A. And we're back into the tune. So the gear that I used on the Grinder Blues record um, and uh, in our demonstration here today was the Alex K. Hot Ice Sweet Distortion. That thing is absolutely unbelievable. It's all over the Grinder Blues record, both of the Grinder Blues records, but especially on Eldos. And then the, uh, in order to spread the sound out a bit, I've got uh, my TC Electronics Plethora X5. I have got a little flashback delay on that's like a slap delay and a spring reverb to sort of uh, give it a little distance, but that's about it. All right, gang, real quick, let's talk about uh, the uh, guitar and the amp. We just went over the pedals that I used to get the tones on um, the Grinder Blues record and in our demonstration today. This is my uh, Reverend Guitars Rick Vito uh, signature guitar. It's got a, uh, a humbucker in the bridge, P90 in the neck position. This thing is absolutely amazing. The blend knob is something that I use all the time. I can blend the two pickups Primarily I'm using the P90 because I like the beef of it and I'm a single coil guy, but uh, now and then I will blend the knobs and uh, use both pickups on that. Um, and then of course the uh, amp is my uh, Avery Amps Jbo 45, which is a 45 watt beast going into a 212 cabinet uh, decked out with Celestians. And uh, this amp is basically a Plexi and a JTM45, a JCM800 and a JTM45 combined. Switch on the back allows me to switch between the two amps. It's really quite amazing and I use it, uh, you know, on everything. The thing rocks. Mm -hmm. 